Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck and today I'll be your tour guide. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how I installed this beautiful 33B colored lace wig. She comes courtesy of Beauty Forever and as you guys can see she is a beauty forever. Now I know I sound so cheesy but this one is so gorgeous and it looks so good against my complexion. But without all of the cap and finesse I'm doing to you guys, let's go ahead and do the install. So this is what the wig looks like straight out of the box. As you guys can see, she includes an adjustable elastic band. This one here is a nice, rich, reddish brown color. I love, love, love this color on me. I'm going to install her by adding the elastic band on first and then putting the wig on next. Now I'm going to just try her on for size and just see, you know, what we need to do to customize. Step one for me was just to cut off the excess lace a little bit, just enough to protect my eyebrows that I've drawn on and be able to see. Here I'm giving you a close up of the hair itself, making sure you get to see the hairline as well as the ends. And here also I was deciding what style we're going to be doing today and if you guessed correctly you guessed that we're going to be doing half up half down instagram chose for us a few days ago here is what she looks like set as a center part she is 13 by 4 lace wig also the length is 24 inches in length and all the details are in the description box if you have any questions at all here i am stamping out the sideburns i did cut off the excess lace around the ear this is key because almost always the lace will be longer or go below your ears and you want your wig to hug your head and fit like a glove you don't want anything overlapping your ears at all also if you've seen the look at the hairline it is pre-plugged but it is like a more uniform pre-plug so i'm just going in and just breaking that up i want it to look a lot more natural and sometimes for me natural is a little bit more thin because i do have thin hairline as well as just like not so uniform and perfect because again my hairline is very imperfect it's not like perfectly you know gradient or shaded across so i just gave it a little bit of a touch of my own hairline and now we can begin the actual install process today we are doing a glueless install featuring the eben this here product i Brown on Amazon and it's very affordable. I'll have it linked in the description box and it's going to be super easy because we just spray that product on top, work it in and make sure that it covers from ear to ear. And then we put the melt belt on top. This one comes from bedeckbitty.com and then I blow dried on a cool setting to make this process go faster. But typically you can just leave it on and then just let it air dry and you will get the same result. Now here I'm just using an eyebrow razor. I feel like it gives you more of a jagged cut and I like that because it's not too uniform but the razor I was using was pretty dull as you see so it was just leaving behind too much so I went back to using scissors and just for this day that was the best option for what I had now I'm going to take some edge control and work on these sideburns so I do like sideburns I do prefer sideburns but also you guys see always in my tutorials I tell you guys for easy everyday maintenance especially for someone who doesn't know how to do sideburns and you don't know how to bind your wig down cancel out these and just don't do them because it's going to be harder to wake up in the morning and do carpool or get to work if you're not a morning person trying to like make sure that the lace is down on the sideburns and then making sure they're perfectly swooped and you know all of that is just an extra step when you have a busy life like I do but again I do love them and I prefer them and in, in a perfect world I would wear them every day but it's just a lot more maintenance when it comes to the everyday life now the one thing that I do do on an everyday basis for the most part is baby hair so baby hair for me perfect baby hair for me is the two little swoops one above each arch of the eyebrow one of mine here is thicker than the other I'm sure you can tell which one is which I did after the fact go in and just make them a lot more even in, but that's the perfect thing about doing your own wigs if you don't know how to do your hair and a stylist does your hair and they do your baby hair like this and you get home and you realize one is thicker than the other like something like that will bug the heck out of me so the fact that I'm able to do my own wigs at home and customize even if I get someone else to do my hair I can always go back in and fix that whenever I see fit after that, I went ahead and added just one more coat of that even product just to make sure that everything was bonded down perfectly and seamlessly. And I'm going to go ahead and let that melt while I work on the rest of the hair. 
As I mentioned, I do want to have a pat down for this look. So I'm just forming the ponytail, which is a very simple and easy process. And I'm just using that same wax and just guiding the hair to be super smooth in the front. I always like to make sure my ponytail is like hot combed into the direction I need it to go. This again, it's just going to give it a super flat appearance and make it look like it's growing out of the scalp. And then I use a regular Outlist scrunchie from Target. I'll have them linked in the description box and just using some hairspray to make sure everything stays exactly how it needs to be i love the texture and color of this hair she is a 33b if i did not mention already and i'm just going to go ahead and tint the lace by adding a foundation shade that's cooler and darker than my complexion and this is just going to make everything melt seamlessly even when i wear makeup this melts seamlessly and it matches my complexion perfectly without being too red and I am pretty heavy handed and generous with this product. Typically, I will go in after this and like spray my um, like a hairspray and that's going to like set it just like when you set your product like your makeup. I love the way this one came out. You can definitely straighten it out, but I was just pleased with the way it looked like big and fluffy. Beauty Forever did an amazing job on this wig and I did an amazing job on the install. Here is the packaging. It did come with this dust bag inside of the box and then they gave me a pair of the HD uh, wig caps that I love so much. And then there's this little purple bag in there and here are the goodies that were inside. There was some lashes, a melt belt. This here is like a, um, what do you call it? Like a powder brush, like a makeup brush. And then a black um, wig cap. I was getting a little bit tongue-tied, but this color 33B Kinky Straight Lace Wig is off the hook. I love her so much, and I hope you guys enjoyed this install. Feel free to customize yours as you see fit. Also, feel free to check it out in the description box. Absolutely gorgeous. 10 out of 10. Would highly recommend this beauty to you guys. Beauty Forever also has so many other products on their site. So if you're not interested in these, I have many other tutorials that I featured with this company. Thank you guys so much for watching. All details are in the description box. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!